listening to me. I come by the blood of Jesus. I come by the blood of Jesus. I come by the blood that speaks mercy. I come by the blood that speaks grace. We come by the blood. 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 And with a cry. such a delight to be sitting with you this beautiful Saturday morning. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Nalong Urechuku and you are watching The Strange Acts of God. This is the NSVPD Testimony Show where we call in the experts just to go over the wonders of God that we've continued to see and hear on a day-to-day -day basis on NSVPD. And for that person tuning in for the first time and asking, what exactly is NSVPD? NSVPD is the new season's prophetic prayers and declarations brought to you by Streams of Joy International, the home of what God cannot do, does not exist. Catch up with us weekday, 7 a.m. Nigerian time, as we continue to revolutionize our world through the power of prayer. Today on The Strange Acts of God, I am joined by a dear, dear friend of the show. He needs no introduction. He's a pastor. He's an eye doctor. And his name is Pastor Dr. D.K. Ukuku D.K. Super excited, super delighted to have him back with us. Good morning, <laughs> Pastor Dr. D.K. Good morning, Pastor Nalong. It's so excited to, to have you back. So excited yeah. to have you back. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Today is a very special day in Nigeria. It yeah. is a long-awaited day. Yes. And it's... Um, for our Nigerian audience, yes. you know, they, they can relate that this is our election day. Yes. So what would you say the mood is around oh, well, Nigeria right I, now? I think a lot of people are excited. Mm -hmm. And um, particularly this is an election that is going to produce a new president. Okay. So it's like power must change mm, hands. Power must so, change and, hands. Um, uh, emotions are all over the place. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. People are excited. People mm -hmm. want to vote. Mm. People want to be part of deciding the future of Nigeria. And that's as what they I should. See. As, yeah, they they should. Sh as they should, yes. Mm. So that's what I see all over the place. And um, God willing, uh, the mantra of uh, NSPPD, which is what God cannot do, does not exist, yes. will manifest in Nigeria. Amen. Yeah. God's will concerning this nation will definitely come yes. to pass in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, back to our show. Mm. Before we get into our testimonies, can we just take a recap and see what happened in the course of yeah. the week? Yep. This week on NSPPD, amazing week it was, by the way. Yes. Testimonies we saw this week. Seven years insanity reversed in the course of the week. Autoimmune disease and hyperthyroidism reversed. Severe heart palpitations reversed. Fatty and damaged liver reversed. A dead man jerks back to life. Five years of childlessness reversed and broken. Prostrate issues reversed. Broken ankle healed. Four years barrenness, aquagenic condition reversed, demonic body odor reversed, brain infraction reversed, glory to God, her niece was restored to life, a baby's heartbeat was restored, surgery cancelled, 15 years of stagnation broken, married at 47 years, wow, glory to God, nine years of childlessness broken, Left renal hypoplasia reversed, breast cancer reversed, trisomy 21 reversed. Wow. A genotype change from SS to AA. Who can forget? <laughs> oh Amazing oh testimonies oh we oh saw God. in the course of Ooh. the week. Glory to Ooh. God. Ooh. That was a huge testimony. Yeah, definitely. Three babies changed from SS to AA mm -hmm. by one word from God. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Mm. So today we have five testimonies up for review. Mm. And our first testimony comes all the way from Ghana. Mm. Our sister, Sister Florence, is testifying about a healing from macular edema. 
Click on the share button if you're yet to and we'll be right back. What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Florence and I'm making this video from Ghana. April 2021, um, I had an eye problem on the right eye. It was blurry, it was itching, it was swollen, it was tearing. I was rushed to the hospital and the retina specialist attended to me and gave me some um, suspensions and ointments and oral drugs to use. After a month, it occurred on the other eye, um, which was a bit funny. I was taken back to the hospital and um, the same treatment was repeated. Septem September that um, year, it reoccurred again. That one, just 20 meters away from wherever I'm standing, I would barely be able to read what was ahead of me. Um, and even to identify faces well. Faces were muffled together, black, and it was so devastating. I visited the clinic back, and the doctor, upon um, some findings earlier on, said I had um, uh, viral anterior uveitis, acute glaucoma, and postnatal Skullman syndrome. In fact, I was taken aback all for one person anyway so he then asked me to do an OCT scan that is an optical coherence of tomography scan to read behind the eye what was going on which I did and the findings from that scan too was that I had bilateral macular edema this is the report and then this is the scan of both eyes with the inflammation in the eye, there was fluid in the eye, hence the difficulty of my vision. I mean, seeing things clearly. So he said, because of the the uh, intensity of whatever that was going on in my eye, we had to attack it aggressively. I mean, tackle the treatment uh, aggressively by having an injection surgery in the eye. Uh, other than that, the retina would detach and I may not see again. In fact, I was scared. And then um, I asked how much and then they quoted the price to me. It was a huge price. So I used the price as yastic to hold on or delay procedure um, and then I will pray and then see what God will do for me. The same September, a good friend of mine called and introduced me to NSPPD, of which I did not hesitate at all because then I had listened to Pastor Jerry Essay, his testimony in Don Sinonite's music uh, or song ministration about the man um, who had the brain surgery and the woman who uh, uh, was raised from the dead. I always um, listen to it to motivate myself then um uh, when he when i started listening to uh, nsppd i studied one pattern that your case men is mentioned as a divine report and then you are healed so i prayed and that september papa kept mentioning um a vision um fluid in the eye if you hold back your testimony if i get into it and i kept praying and then there was a time it just came as it is that you had a problem on the other eye one eye it's moved to the other eye and now it looks like you're losing both eyes hear me as i hear the lord if you hold back your testimony in fact i kid into before he finished i said god it is me and then i put it on the live screen it is it is me in fact, from there, I have started feeling some changes. But then the doctor insisted I had to see a rheumatologist to check my immune system to know what was going on or what is happening. The, the rheumatologist findings was also that I have an inflammation arthritis, which also needs to be treated. I said, okay. But then I knew NSPPD, so I was not perturbed about the diagnosis. So after some time, I visited for review and the doctor was so amazed. So last December, 2022, when I went to have my last review, he checked again. He was so marveled. He was so surprised. He was like, keep doing what you're doing. Um, don't change and keep revisiting, um, coming for review 
videos and you'll be fine so i was like okay so are we going to do this um in surgery in the eye the injections i said no 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 you no 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 you are fine there's no injection for you you are fine you're okay there won't be any injection in the eye and then i was like so can we do another scan to at least prove that the inflammation is gone and then the doctor's like florence i said no you are healed beloved i'm healed to the glory of god i'm here to give back god's glory to him because i asked god to heal me for his glory and indeed he has done it i'm grateful to pastor jerry and the crew pastor okuru pastor k mommy eno all the nsppd crew may the all on your head never runs dry may god keep replenishes every strength that you lose spiritually and physically in jesus mighty name for what god cannot do that's not a Thank you. Bye. What Glory God cannot God do does, does not, not exist. exist. Ooh, Glory ooh, to ooh, God. Ooh. A two year long affliction brought yes, to an end yes, by the word of yes, God. Glory yes. to God. Now she mentioned so many conditions, and I'm yes. wondering all these things in one little eye acute glaucoma, viral interior uveitis, anterior personal uveitis. Skolman syndrome bilateral macular edema fluid in the eye she mm. mentioned so many yes, things and yes. just help us make sense of it all okay i think um you know maybe the people that captured the testimony just mentioned the macular edema that's not right. all that happened there that's just one of the signs of the problem she had okay so the key problem there is the postnas coleman syndrome okay now postnas coleman syndrome mm. um is often caused by what we call a, a cytomegalovirus, uh, cytomegalovirus. So it's like a viral infection okay. that, that causes it. So when she was talking about it, um, uh, viral uveitis, okay. that's like where it starts okay. from infection to inflammation of the uveal tract. Okay. Or, or um, some people call it a glucomatocyclitis. Okay. So it's like an inflammation uh -huh. And then some people also call that condition an inflammatory glaucoma. Okay. So it starts like an inflammation. And the next thing that happens, well, first of all, by, by virtue of um, the diagnosis. and So it started as a viral infection, mm -hmm. then inflammation, mm -hmm. and then the increase in um, eye pressure. Hmm. Right. So and the, the, in the layers of the eye, you know, the external layer, there's the external, the cornea and the sclera, mm -hmm. the white mm -hmm. part, mm -hmm. and what we call the black part, which is actually transparent. Mm -hmm. Then there's the middle layer, which is the ciliary body, or the choroid, okay. that's the site of the inflammation before you get to the retina. Mm. Now, this inflammation had happened in, the, um, in that choroid mm -hmm. or the ciliary mm -hmm. body mm -hmm. and got to the point of affecting or creating edema in the retina. Mm. So it was not just that there was a problem in the retina. Mm. There was a bigger problem mm. of an inflammation in the entire choroid, which mm. can lead to an inflammation of the entire eye. If mm. you're not careful, if they, uh, and from her narration, mm. you see also that this started, the first diagnosis was about April 2021. 2021. Now, it happened like it resolved, came back again, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. typical of um, postnoscoma syndrome. Now, it happens, goes, comes back. Now, in one bout mm. of postnoscoma syndrome, mm. there's the inflammation, mm -hmm. then um, uh, the eye pressure could shoot up, mm -hmm. optic nerve could get damaged. Wow. If it is not in extreme cases, the person may even lose vision right. in one bout. Hmm. And this is supposed to be happening in one eye. But for this patient, bilateral, it started in one eye, hey. eventually went over to the other eye. Hmm. Hmm. You know, um, not that blindness is a good thing, but you imagine at least let one eye be affected and mm, let the other eye mm, be okay. Mm, mm, but mm. this was something that had the potential of leading to blindness in both eyes. Mm. And then it lingered from April 2021, 2021. and kept repeating mm. and she kept going for treatment right. and doing everything she could do. And then by September of 2022 right. was when someone told her about the altar NSPD. of fire. Turning point. The altar of fire. Yes. One year, five months. Mm. Now, typically, one year, five months of postnascoma syndrome, yes. the macular edema is the least of your worries. Wow. Your, your optic nerves may have been severely battered and wow. damaged. That even if the problem completely resolves, yes. your vision is not going to be the same again. Wow. Now, this woman, after a, month, after a year and, and five, five months, months, 
encounters God on NSPPD. Hey! Takes her word by oh. fire, like, and, and collects her word and appropriates her word mm. and believes her mm. word. Mm. And by December of the same year, hey. three months later, she goes back for checkup Glory. for a problem that has been recurrent. Mm. Mm. And then she's now told, like, hello, <laughs> go, home. <laughs> go home. We're done. We're done. There's no issue. Mm. You know, divine intervention, um, I, I don't know how best to explain this, mm. but. This is a rare condition. Right. It's a rare, it's not, um, if I, there, there are a lot of arguments about the, um, what's it called, the, the pathophysiology of this particular condition. Right. Because it's a rare condition. Mm. It's not something that doctors see every day. Mm. It's not something that you can easily make reference. And the problem is that, now, in, in her narration, mm. let me go back a bit. In her narration, it looked like some other things were being suspected before right. they realized what was actually going on. Right, right, right. And that's the danger of rare conditions. Mm. Because it is not a, it's not like malaria. Right, when we see right, fever right. And I will know it's you just name. know. This one is a right. rare condition. And mm. so by the time you're trying to treat what is not really wrong, yes. what is wrong is getting more it's complicated. It's spoiling somewhere else. And then mm. you, by the time you eventually found ah. out, a lot of damage would have happened. Mm, mm, a lot of mm. things would have gone wrong. Mm. But she, that was got not her case. The, but she got to the altar right, of fire. Right, 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 right. Now, she, her vision from her narration again, mm. she said in some meters, like from meters. some meters, she could not she see. She couldn't see. Faces were very blurred. well. Mm -hmm. Faces were being blurred and mm -hmm, all that. Mm -hmm. And then she encounters God on the altar of fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and right now, she's hey, back. Glory. Right now, she's back. The edema has disappeared. disappeared. The high eye pressure that was that should have caused damage has gone. Mm. Optic nerves intact. Glory. You know when Glory. God when God ah. th this is you know God likes to show off really. Mm. God mm. God mm. is God is like a show master. Mm. God looks mm. like mm. Lo looks at a condition that is already complicated, mm. that is already messed up. Almost, permit me to say, mismanaged. Hmm. The only good thing about this is that there was a diagnosis eventually, but the diagnosis did not come from the beginning. Yes. And the implication is that you were treating what was not a problem. Right, 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 right. And right. then the real problem was there. Was left untreated. More, was left untreated hmm. and started from one eye, entered, entered into the, the next one. Entered into the hey. second eye. In most cases, this would end up in one eye. Hey. But this had or entered. Or total blindness, even. This entered both eyes. But mm. God being merciful, hey. God being so kind, mm. God being God on NSPPD, hey. God being God on the altar of Glory. fire, shows up and hey. shows up, and she's testifying, and she's testifying, and her consultant is telling her, "See, everything is gone from no needing need. aggressive mm. treatments." Those were yes. his words. Yes, to saying, "Go home, go home," mm. and she's telling him, "Don't you think we should have another test?" He says, "Go home." You are healed. You know, when a, problem, when a problem has gotten complicated and has lingered, mm, mm, right? It's mm. like that man at the pool of Bethesda for right, 38 years. Right. And then you ask, it, it's, it doesn't sound like you are full, that it doesn't, it doesn't feel like you should come out of a problem easily because right, you've been in it right, for right, a long for a time. Mm. So, and that's why she's wondering, why are we not doing anything again? <laughs> why are we not doing the surgery? Yes. Why, why, why are we not doing Divine anything? Divine interruption. And the, I mean, the, you just took it off from me. Glory. Divine interruption. Yes. What should have gone wrong hey. has been reversed. Reversed. And God has just taken all the glory. Ah. God can be trusted. God can Believe be me, trusted. God, God is beautiful Hallelujah. for every situation. Yes, yes, yes. And that's what he has just done for mm, this patient. Mm, and I mm. know that what God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. Mm. Wow. Mm. You called it Skoman. Postnascoman syndrome. Postnascoman syndrome reversed. Mm. What our God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. Phenomenal, mm. profound mm. testimony. Mm. Our next testimony comes from Mr. Daniel from Lagos State, Nigeria, and he testifies about deliverance from a blood covenant of 27 years. Mm. We have a testimony also from our brother, Mr. Tochuku, from Anambra State, Nigeria, and he's testifying about a family deliverance. We'll be right back after their testimonies. I am that man that God has shown mercy. My name is Daniel. I'm giving this testimony from Lagos, Nigeria on the 8th of February, 2023. The Lord showed me mercy. What appears impossible, what appears like a mountain, dissolve in just one minute. When I was listening to the prayer of Daddy, 
the man of God said exactly 7 46 a.m. that there is somebody who did a physical blood covenant and that that blood covenant is working against him and he said you have asked God for forgiveness you have cried to God the power of God is dissolving it is neutralizing it that was exactly my situation Oh, Shade, the mercy of God is nullifying anyone that did a physical blood covenant, physical blood covenant, and it is working against you. And you are saying, Lord, I am sorry. Lord, I am sorry. The mercy of God and the blood of Jesus is neutralizing, is neutralizing, is neutralizing every blood covenant, every blood covenant every blood covenant right now right now right now right now let your amen turn the louder on the 8th of january 1996 that physical blood covenant happened as a result of peer pressure teenager and discipline and youthful exuberance but since that 8th of january 1996 it has been a battle it has been a mental battle it has been a physical battle i have cried to god god gave me the grace to go to the university with it but i know what i pass through on a daily basis but when the man of god mentioned that word that a man who did a physical covenant somebody who did a physical covenant and you have cried to God. In fact, four days to that day, I woke up around two in the night. I was praying and I was crying to God, asking God for his mercy, asking God for his forgiveness. On Wednesday, the 8th of February, the man of God was speaking to me directly. I was the one and I shouted, I was in the office alone, I shouted, and I thank God that after 27 years, one month, God finally remembered me. I did what I did as a result of peer pressure, as a result of youthful exuberance, and partly in discipline, but I suffered for it for 27 years. And a month I have continually cried to God it has disturbed me when I compete with others I don't compete on the same level ground because of this issue so I want to thank the man of God Pastor Jerry Eze and uh, his members those praying for us every day I want to thank God for his tenacity for the sacrifices for you praying for those you don't even know, calling situations that you don't even know. I want to pray that God's grace will continue to be upon you and your members. I thank you. I will remain in the altar of fire. God has remembered me. Thank you and thank you very, very much. What God cannot do does not exist. NSP PDS, what God cannot do does not exist. My name is uh, Duchuku. I'm testifying from Anambra State. I'm here to give God back all the glory because there has been a lot of complications in my life. And it didn't really start new from, I would even say from birth because right from when I was in school, I've been having this challenge that what others do and succeed it can never work for me. Where others are accepted, I can't be accepted. I don't know why. So it kept going on and on until maturity. The challenges are definitely within the family. Like every male child in the family is facing the same challenge. A family of more than 15 graduates, none is doing anything. We are practically doing nothing. Just roaming from one place to another, striving and seeking for things to do, and nobody, not even one person. So my dad, who happens to be the Breadwin of the family strived and strived and got to a stage where he could no longer do anything like his own business. 
shut down. A multi-million company that was generating at least 20 to 30 million every year got to a level where he can't even afford a million. So things got so bad that we, the, the children in the family, we started seeking for solutions from every angle. We have prayed and prayed and prayed all to my avail. So unfortunately, on uh, 2nd of December last year, I lost my dad. I was not yet connected to this altar, although I was seeing the statues on my friend's profile. So all through when my dad was sick, I prayed, I cried, no result. Fortunately, I lost him. I was still doing nothing, even after my dad died. So a friend of mine you know, directed me to a place. He said that place, you know, a lot of ideas started coming, do this sacrifice, do this, do this, go to this place. Finally, they took me to a place. In that place, there was these two great uh, 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 shrine and the altar. And that altar, I was told to make promises what I would do if the particular spirit there fights for me and recovers whatever has been lost. So I, so I made the promise that I will sacrifice two goats to, 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 to different altars every month if the battle is won and things begin to move in order. So I was managing the company after my dad died. I invested the little funds I had with me inside the company to know if I can grow it up. That the spirit should fight and recover whatever that is causing the failure and the rest. A month passed, two, three, four, five, six months. <laughs> the sixth month should be November this year. That's 2022. The company got shut down. I couldn't maintain it. I had no funds anymore to run. I even have funds to eat, talk more of to run the company. So I closed down the company in September. Then, sometime towards uh, October, a friend told me about the, the prayer program again, telling me people's testimony. Then I've already I've already trespassed on several ways because I've tried everything possible, nothing was working. So the friend told me about the miracles that have been happening. Now I didn't wait for, wait for any link. I started start making research because then I was desperate. Anything that would work for me. I got very desperate. So I went home, I searched, I got the link through YouTube. So I started, I joined the prayers. I continued with the prayers. I kept asking God, do something. Because as the truth was that my faith has become very thin. Like, I told God openly, I'm, 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 I'm beginning to lose everything I have as faith. I don't know what was happening, but I cried unto God, told him, please help my dying faith, help my faith. This is where I was born, this is the foundation I was born into, this is what I believe in, but I am losing it, please help this little remaining faith, grow it back. On a very good day, I don't remember the date, Daddy made a prayer about family and charms. No, he was saying, talking about, uh, 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 he, he, he said the first one was family and the sacrifices that they were doing to we told people Elebeza, any family uh, member of yours uh, they call us uh, Lebeza, uh, that they have decided uh, to use uh, as a sacrifice uh, Lebeza, uh, Lebeza. Uh, you may not understand uh, why this prayer uh, is being made uh, until uh, you see the evidence uh, any family member uh, of yours uh, they have decided uh, to use uh, uh, as a sacrifice after that day, the first testimony was my brother. They called him and asked him if he would be interested in a job. That the, the company are looking are looking for that company that are looking for marketers. He said yes, he's interested. So they called him for interview. After the interview, he gave them his price. So after much argument, they landed at four zeros. Uh, salary, you know, it was okay. They called him to come and pick his vehicle at the at the Lagos. He went, brought the vehicle down to East. The vehicle is here now. He's resuming his job today, being 28th of uh, December. From what I heard, so I was praying, God, let this be the breakthrough I'm praying for for myself and my family. So on 25th of December, after the morning prayers, I went to ease myself. Only for me to enter the bedroom, my phone fell into the toilet. I brought it out, dismantled the phone, spread it for the, for the phone, the phone to dry. So I didn't receive any call all through the day until 4 in the evening. I coupled back the phone. The first person that came to my mind was a friend of mine at work. I said, I should. My spirit said, call him and tell him you're coming over because I was doing nothing. So I called him. 
He said, he has been trying my number through the day. He's not going. That way, I told him, Mama told me, he said, okay, can I manage, can I be a general manager at one of the event centers in Oka? He said, yes. Doing nothing now. He said, okay, I should rush down to Oka now. When I got, he gave me the number of the, of the person. They were discussed. They asked me a few things. I said, okay. He said, I should come back tomorrow that the owner of the event place will be in, will be in the office. I came back the next day. What was supposed to be an interview? <laughs> Hey, to the glory of God, turned out to be a discussion. Like, but for the first time in my life, I got a job that is paying me five zero digits and not one in the front. Like, I was asking myself, can this be true? After how many years? I graduated since 2013. Did my service 214, 215. I've searched for a job, nothing. And this is my first job, and it's not a penny job. I entered my vehicle. Pastor Jerry will say, How will you shout? For like 10 good minutes, I was busy shouting, speaking in tongues, crying, telling God, is this how things work? Hey, I glorify the name of the Lord. Right now, I'm preparing to go to work. And I say, God, glory be to your holy name. Pastor Jerry, the oil on your head will never run dry. The Lord will keep, to, keep blessing you, keep empowering you. So God, please, whatever you are doing on this altar, it is good to my spirit. And I know it is good to many people. Please, let that fire continue to burn. I pray for you all. The Lord will continue to bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wow. To wow. God be the glory. To God be the glory. Wow, mm. wow, wow. Mm. You know, listening to these testimonies, yeah. it makes me wonder how many people are suffering for things they really don't know anything yeah. about. Yeah. You know, this man says all of his life he has been disadvantaged, he has always struggled, he has always had bad luck where his mates thrive. You know, mm. when he tries, he, he ends up just failing in life. Mm. Fifteen graduates in their family, none is doing anything productive, no one ever rises to become anything, and mm. his father died in the struggle. Mm. So this has been a pattern that has gone on and on and on and on. Mm. And many a times you want to wave it and say, oh, it's just coincidence, they should push, they should push. Mm. But... He came on the altar yeah. and his turnaround turn, turning came. Points. That was the turning point. Mm. And so it's not just mm. um, some type of coincidence yes. at all. You know, this was a negative pattern, a generational curse, so mm. to speak, yes. that he inherited just by being born into that family. Yes. And his turning point came yes. on the altar. Yes. Glory to God. You know... Um, while I listen to this testimony, you know, there are some testimonies that are not, um, the stories are a bit blood chilling. Mm -hmm. And um, they're not ordinarily, not the kind of stories you want to hear. Mm. But what I see happening, you know, th there are things that happen in the physical mm. and they, they have representations in the spiritual. Mm. The, the same way people can be locked up in a prison, mm. their movement is hindered physically. I mean, a physical mm -hmm. prison. Mm -hmm. and Their movement is hindered they can only eat when you feel like giving them food or when you feel mm. like allowing them to have access to food. And you just literally make a mess of their lives. If you feel mm. like for two days they shouldn't eat, that would be it. Mm. Spiritually, there are times when the devil would lock up, literally lock up a person mm. or people. Mm. Like when Jesus would heal the woman who was bent over. Mm. And, you know, there were people who were arguing. And he said, shouldn't this woman who is a daughter of Abraham, who has been, like, who has been afflicted by the mm. devil. So, and he was trying to say, yes, there was a, what looked like a physical condition, but mm. this was an affliction from the devil. Mm. Jesus was specific in saying that what you are seeing and you think is physical, mm. it's coming from the devil. Mm. It's spiritually engineered. Mm. It's not something, I mean, people, like I, I often would say, people don't just wake up and say, let me go and fail. Mm. Nobody wants to um, grow, become big, mm, and mm. now say, uh, by Tuesday, I'll fail. Mm. Or by Wednesday, I'll fail. Right. Nobody does that. Right. People don't plan to rise and fall. Right. So when you see someone who has risen, hey. yeah, I know that there are times when mistakes you know, could lead to someone's personal downfall. Mm -hmm. But this one's, it's not like, I mean, they were succeeding, getting to a point, mm. and then at some point it looked like, okay, um, we have a problem with your success. It's time for you to go down. Right. And everything crumbles. Uh, you know, someone who has risen, any height you've risen to, mm. and you have capacity to at least be on that height, mm -hmm. even if you cannot rise higher, you should be able to remain on the height you've risen to. Mm. And then all of a sudden, mm. a man starts 
coming down mm. from the height he has mm. attained. Mm. A height mm. he already had capacity for. Mm. A, right, a height where he could already express, his destiny already had expression mm. and begins to go down. Mm. That is the kind of situation where Jesus said, concerning the man that so tells, he said, an enemy has done this. Yes. This is not normal. Mm. I've planted good seed, mm. good um, 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 plants are supposed to be coming forth, right. and then tells are now, he said, an enemy, an enemy has, done, has this. done this. And that's what I see. But you see, those enemies, right. um, Jesus said, the reapers, mm. meaning the angels, mm. they will take them out. Mm. They will take out the, the wrong things that were planted. Mm. And that's mm. one thing I like about the altar of fire. Mm. I told you before, I said, there are angels allocated to the altar of fire. Right. As declarations are going forth, they are going in, right. doing things, you know, executing the mandate right. of God in people's lives. If we're saying let cycles be broken, whether it's a generational cycle yes. or a cycle of rising and falling yes. or a cycle of getting to a point and being stagnated, uh -huh. any cycle, the angels are going forth and, and scattering every cycle. And mm. that's why people now come back to testify and they just said, a particular day, my word came and then all of a sudden, now what it means is that the prison gate was flung yes, open. Yes, yes, yes. And you're suddenly able to move. Glory. For Peter, you know, he got to a point where the Bible says the chains fell and an angel was leading him until yes. he got to the iron gate. Yes, yes, Which yes. leads Lead to into the city. The city. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that one opened of yes. its own accord. Glory. Now, a gate that was locked to hinder his movement. Yes. An angel went forward with the mandate of the Lord and the gate opened for him and his entire family. On his own accord, and he passed through. Glory so to God. So this is, this is I, I see God at work in this yes, testimony. Yes. A siege has been broken. Yes. And then all of a sudden, yes. someone who has not had a job, no. someone who has not had favor in his yes, life, yes, someone yes. who has literally been looking for how to survive mm. is now, when, you know when he was mm. testifying, he said, I'm getting ready to go to work. Yes, glory. <laughs> the story has glory. changed. The story, the has, story changed. has changed. The story has changed. The story has changed. And then, of course, we have our other testifier, yes. Mr. Daniel. Mm. And he said something very interesting. He said, you know, a, a torture of 27 years yes. has been nullified in seconds, mm. just in mm. seconds. And in his case, it was um, youthful. He said it was youthful um, exuberance. Yes. For Mr. Tochuku, he just was born and he inherited a problem. Yes. Yes. But for Mr. Daniel, it was mistakes that he had made in his, you know, adolescence. And he was still dealing with the repercussions mm. 27 years later. And what interests me or what I find pretty remarkable is that he has given his life to Christ. He is born again, but there were still voices that were speaking mm. over his destiny mm. 27 years later that needed to be silenced. Mm. It was like he had accepted Jesus as his savior, mm. yet there were still voices that mm. needed to be silenced, you know, and on the altar he cried and prayed mm. and his breakthrough came as well. You know, my excitement is that whether it is what you were born into mm -hmm. or what you <laughs> bettered yourself right, into. Right, right. The altar of fire has right, got the remedy. Right. God is not limited by the pathophysiology of your right. negativity. Right, right, Whatever right. Whatever caused it. Right, right, Even right. if they say it was caused by this, caused by that, caused by this and that, or that and this, mm. God has got a solution. Mm, mm, and then, mm. you know, for someone, you know, um, this is not a discipleship class, but I, I was going to say that when people get born again, mm -hmm. if there are strongholds, mm. you need to intentionally deal, deal with, with strongholds. Because even someone problems. who is born again, mm -hmm. Apostle Paul would say that we try severally to come across to you. Mm -hmm. Now, this was Apostle Paul that had encountered Jesus on his way to Damascus, mm -hmm. filled mm -hmm. with the Holy Spirit, doing mm -hmm. mighty works. Mm -hmm. And he went on record to write and said, we tried severally to, to come, come to you, but Satan hindered us. Mm -hmm. So if Satan will try to hinder people who are already on fire, so mm -hmm. to speak, mm -hmm. how about someone who is still trying to find his feet? Mm -hmm. And so that is why when you're on the, that's why I like the altar of fire. When mm -hmm. you're there, the fire is ministering to yes. the issues yes. of your life, yes. whether you have the capacity on your own to deal with the issue or not. And you know, the beauty of the power of God is that it's multi-dimensional. Yes. He can travel to your past to deliver you yes. from your past. Yes. You know, he can deliver you in the present and he can deliver you from the future mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So he's not limited by time and space. He can go yes. back into your history yes. and fix whatever yes. issue that is yes. and deliver you from yes. a past that you have, you know, long, you know, gone past. And, you know, it's just beautiful what happened here. Yes. After I 27 years... Yeah, and, and I like to say to people who feel that they have 
a long-standing negativity, mm. something they have literally lived with, mm. perhaps what they were born into mm. or what they made mistakes and entered into, mm. there is no problem that needs to stay forever in your life right. and you die with it, right. except God is not involved. Mm. If God shows up and if, if Jesus gets involved in your matter, that mm. is why the altar of fire is there. Right. It's not mystical. Mm. It is the power of God being you know, being give, given a platform to mm. reach out to lives. Mm. And that's what is happening. And that's why you see these guys testify. Mm. Pastor Jerry doesn't know them. But mm. what he did was to give declarations based on the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Yes. And then they have come back with their testimonies. Yes. The chains are the broken. The chains the, are the, broken. The snares are broken. The yes, yokes yes, are broken. Yes, yes, their lives yes. have turned around. Glory to and God. And the beautiful thing is that it did not take... You know, the devil can give you afflictions for 20 years. When God steps in, mm. he does not need another 20 years before making things mm. right. He just makes things right seconds, on the spot. On the spot. And that's why I know that what God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. Mm. Glory to God. Mm. Phenomenal testimonies. Their yes. breakthroughs have come. Their deliverance has come. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Our last two testimonies from today are from our brother, Mr. Gordian. And our sister, Miss Josephine from Ghana, and the backbone of delay has been broken. Click on the share button if you're yet to. We'll be right back. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. Indeed, Pastor Jerry, I am that man God has showed mercy. Uh, my name is Gordian, and I'm sending my video testimony from Nigeria. I'm doing this testimony on behalf of my mom, through whom I joined this fire altar. And she's thanking God over the completion of a house project, which took about 10 years, Pastor Jerry, 10 years. But after getting in touch with this fire altar, she was able to finish within six months, Pastor Jerry. Within six months, indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. I want to thank you, Pastor Jerry, Momieno, Pastor Uguru, Pastor Oki, for accepting the gift and the call of God in your lives. And we pray that the oil on your heads will never run dry. Thank you for putting all the efforts to bring NSPPD to our view every day and every morning. And we pray that you people will never fall. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Jerry. What God cannot do does not exist. Praise the Lord. My name is Josephine, and I'm doing this video from Ghana. Hallelujah. Pastor Jerry, hey. Early congratulations. Early congratulations. Pastor Jerry, you said it. You said in February, we will carry our congratulations. I have carried my no, it will happen in February. I have carried oh, 21 days of fasting. I have carried my congratulations. Oh, the first of my congratulation note is promotion. And it has happened, oh, hallelujah. I will dance my dance and I will shout my shout. Hey! God has done it. What God cannot do does not exist. What my God cannot do does not exist. 15 years of hard labor. Ah, first time promotion. Glory be to God. Oh, after many battles, God has done it all. Oh, hey, I will shout my shout. Pastor Jerry, it has happened, oh, you have said it, the word has come to pass, God has honored his word over this, I have carried my congratulations, oh, any, any, any congratulations, it is here, oh, it has arrived, people of God, help me thank God, oh, for what he has done for me, hey, 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 hey. God, has done it. God is faithful. God is faithful. He has proved himself. Thank you, Jesus. What you cannot do does not exist. Pastor Jerry, God bless you for all the sacrifice, the sleepless nights, all the prayers you have prayed over our lives. God bless you. Multiply it. Many folds back to you and your family and everyone that connects to you. Oh, I have carried it all. Oh, God has shown me many what my God cannot do does not exist. Amen. 
Wow! <laughs> glory to, to God. God. Glory. Mm. 10 and 15 mm. years of mm. stagnation mm. broken. Yeah. Glory to God. The mm. enemy had kept them at a standstill. They were mm. marking time mm. in destiny for 10 years, for mm. 15 years, not until they joined the fire altar. Mm. Our brother said six months yes. on the fire altar mm. and a project that has taken them, they couldn't complete in mm. 10 years, mm. in six months mm. of just continued prayers on mm. the altar of fire. No specific word came yes. for him. Just yes. continuous prayer. Mm. And in that place of prayer, just the consistency mm. and fervent prayers, their breakthrough came, and here they are in a brand new building. What God cannot do does, <laughs> does not, not exist. exist. And of course, our sister, 15 years of hard labor, mm. 15 years and not a single promotion. Mm. And here she is. Papa gave a word, and she mm. obeyed instructions. Mm. And here she is for mm. the first time being promoted after mm. 15 years. Glory to God. Mm. And you know, God's will is not for anybody to be stagnated yes. in destiny. Yes. It's not part of God's yes. plan and purpose mm. for anybody. Um, the Bible says they go from strength to strength. Yes. And so if you're not going from strength to strength, when you are appearing before God and you don't go from strength to strength, mm. then you know that certainly the mm. enemy is at work. Mm -hmm. The Bible also says the path of the righteous yes. shines brighter yes. and brighter. Yes. So if your path has shined bright mm. and you have failed to move forward, mm -hmm. then you also know that the devil mm. is responsible. Glory to God. You know, these ones, um, their parts hadn't even started shining. Right. That's the reality. Right. You know, so, but, um, and it reminds me yet again mm. of that man at the pool of Bethesda. Right. And he, wa he had been there for 38 years. And the Bible says when Jesus saw him and knew that he had been there, there for, for a long, long time, time. Now, Jesus did something, mm. and immediately the person who had been paralyzed, mm. who couldn't move, start, what he could not do before, he started to do it immediately. Mm. And that is what God does to stagnation. God does not look at stagnation and say, let me give you one more month, mm -hmm. or two more months, or one more week, mm. or even one more hour. When Jesus shows up at, the, the, at that place called stagnation, mm. the next thing that happens that is broken and whatever you couldn't do before, you start to do hey. And that's why you see that people who had been 10 years on a project, hey. stagnated on the project, no hope of completion, mm. literally an abandoned project, mm. all of a sudden, within six months, now what they could Doors not opened. do suddenly started happening. And within six months, mm. I like the gates particularly. Mm. You, know, mm. when, you know, when you finish something, I mm. want to explain in case someone is yes, passing yes, by yes. and, and saying, ah, what just suddenly happened? Mm. Then, you know, how did mm. the story change? Mm. When they look at the gate, what, what God, God cannot, cannot do, do does, not, does exist, not exist. You know, And they made it go, you know, like um, painted it, it's standing out. Right, 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 right. Because right. that is the That's summary of that testimony. That's their testimony. That they were stagnant. Right. And all of a sudden, the and you know, monkers would have mocked them. You know, monkers would have mocked them. It's important that they know that this is Jesus, the hand of God. Jesus, while mm. giving a parable, talked mm. about that, and he said, "Any man who wants to build a house mm. would have to sit down, count the, count cost, the cost, so that." When he starts and is not able to finish, mm. people will not say, oh, look at him, he has right, started. Right, 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 so right. So what it means, and in that Jesus' parable, what mm. it means is that whenever you start, mm. there are people who take note that you have started mm. and they are watching mm. to see if you will complete this, you the, the, the project or not. Mm. And you can imagine this family. Mm. They started something. They're, so, they're still on it. Though. Yes. Two years. They're yes. still on they're it. They're still though. there. Uh, somebody will see. Yes. Maybe I've not seen you for a long time. I'm uh -huh. like, ah, how about those people? That's their house. They're how far? They're still on ha. it. See, they've not done anything since that yes. last time. Something oh. that should and bring joy would bring ridicule. 10 years. 10 years, years after. after ah, so that house, the, the people should now sell it now yes. since you yes. don't have yes. money to. Yes. So yes. all manner of things would have been said. Ah. But I like Jesus. Hey. When he shows up, he will not see a man who has been in a condition for 38 years and says, Stay right, one more right, year. Right, 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 right. Ah. Complete one more year. He mm -hmm. says, no, mm -hmm. this is not how I work. Now, now, You're now, moving now. 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 Remember Kali that Gadasha. same day, Jesus said to the man, mm. rise, take mm. up your bed and walk. Mm. Rise, take right up now. your ba bed and make hey. movement and make progress. Yes. So from stagnation, immediate progress. Mm. Immediate, not, it wasn't not, 
postpone we are not postponing your progress. Yes, it's yes, immediate yes, yes, progress. Yes, yes, yes. That is what God does to stagnation. Glory. So if you've been stagnated and you're coming to the altar of fire, what you're asking Calibra, for Calibra, and what you're about to yeah. receive mm. is immediate progress. Glory. Immediately, immediately you start to move. Mm. And that's what happened to that woman as well. Mm. 15 mm. years. Mm. How does someone even stay on a job 15, 15 years? You're years. not making progress. Hard labor, she said. You're not making progress mm. and then 21 days fasting. And you know, declaration, congratulations mm, notes. The meanwhile, first thing on her note. meanwhile, you see that congratulations note. Mm. Just write and have it. Whether Pastor Jerry says come with it or not, just be coming with just your congratulations notes. It. Angels are taking notes. When they have their meetings in heaven, they can be saying, God, this person has come yes, with this note yes, yes. For, for one week, yes, for two weeks. Yes, yes. Why are we not responding? Yes. Now let's show off small with <laughs> yes, this person. Yes. And and you see that that's how people carry their testimonies. Mm. And that person might just think. Congratulations note. Mm. What does that mean? Mm. Now, this testimony should tell you what mm. congratulations note means. That you write, I'm about to testify about my promotion. Yes. And it has happened in the month of yes, February. Yes, and God and has, it has satisfied not, it, her God early. has satisfied her early. Mm. Mm. It's not mm. a late miracle. It's, no. a, it's an early, early miracle. Early. And what more can I say? Mm. What God cannot do does, does not, not exist. Does not and can never can exist. Never exist. Can never exist. Mm. Glory to God. Phenomenal mm. testimonies we've mm. heard today. Yeah. Our first testifier testified about Makula Edema being reversed. Though you corrected us mm. and you captioned it. Post-Nascoman syndrome. Post-Nascoman syndrome reversed. Glory mm. to God. Our second testifier, we saw deliverance from a blood covenant of 27 years. Wow. Glory to God. Our third testimony today from Mr. Tochuku, we saw family deliverance. Mm. Glory to God. And of course, our fourth testifier was from Mr. Gordian testifying about 10 years of stagnation broken. Our last testimony for today was mm. from Ms. Josephine who testified about 15 years of stagnation broken. She mm. just got her first promotion after 15 years mm. of hard labor. Mm. What a God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. Wow, what a phenomenal mm. time we've had today. It's always exciting to be here. Wow, Pastor Dr. DK, we have to go. I'm sure you have to run off to go and vote. <laughs> <laughs> Say something to our viewers before you go. Well, um, really and truly, uh -huh. what God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. If it has lingered, if it has defied the efforts of man, right. if it has defied the doctor's um, report, um, 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 if, if the doctor's report is not favorable and the doctor can't do anything, or it has beaten your imagination and mm. your creativity, mm. bring it to the altar of yes. fire. Yes. That is Jesus' specialty. Mm. Where men stop mm. is where Jesus begins because what he cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. Mm. And our third or second testifier mm. said, a problem mm. of 27 years mm. was nullified in seconds. Mm. You know that line just stuck with me. Mm. A problem mm. of 27 years mm. nullified in a second. Mm. What a God cannot do does not exist. Yes. Where would you rather be mm. than on NSPPD? NSPPD continues same time, 7 a.m. Nigerian time, Monday through till Friday. Come back and join us and do not come alone. The Strange Acts of God continues Saturday morning, 7 a.m. Nigerian time. Come back and join us. You'll be so blessed and so glad that you did. Have you shared today's broadcast? Go ahead and click on the share button if you are yet to and be a blessing to someone else. Mm. Do you have a testimony of your own? Go ahead and send in your testimony to the testimony number written at the bottom of the screen. Are mm. you following us across all of our social media handles go ahead and search for streams of joy yes. international like and subscribe so that you never miss an episode and you are up to date with all that god is doing in this house streams of joy international wow what a phenomenal time we've had today mm -hmm. thank you once again pastor dr dk for your time thank you for the insights thank you for all the value that you've brought on board it's my pleasure to be here thank you for watching our viewers we are right at the end of our show till next week saturday remember that what our god cannot do does, does not, not exist, exist.